This is Adam Smith, co-founder of Zobni. This week, he told IT News how he has replaced the address book in Microsoft Outlook. Zobni, when you first install it, we add a sidebar to the right-hand side of the main Outlook window. And what we do is we show you an information profile for the person who sent the email that you're looking at. So this is in context with whatever you're working on. And what we show you is if you're looking at, at an email from me, you'll see my picture pulled from Facebook or LinkedIn. You'll see a list of all the files we've sent back and forth via email. Uh, you'll see my phone number, which we extract from email signatures or message bodies. And if you hover over that phone number, it'll show you the, the snippet of the email where that phone number came from so you can verify that it's the right phone number. Uh, we'll show you all of the conversations that we've had uh, grouped into threads like Gmail. Uh, you can click on any one of those to get a drill down into that actual conversation so you can get an overview. Uh, we also have integration with the Facebook and LinkedIn so you can get access to those profiles right from your Outlook without leaving Outlook. You can also add people as a friend on LinkedIn or Facebook without leaving Outlook. And finally, we have lightning fast search. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a search box at the top and you can search, uh, we call it dual search. So it'll search both your email and the people in your email uh, at the same time. Sobney's search and data mining technology is very impressive. So I asked Adam about competition from another slightly larger search firm. You know, Google is interesting because the, the product that they have that is closest to what Zobni has is Google Desktop Search. If you type it into Google Desktop Search, just Adam, you'll get a, get a list of every document, every attachment, uh, every body, you know, every quoted text that contains the term Adam. And it just doesn't, it's not aware of, you know, there are these different entities, yeah. there are people, there are addresses, there are attachments, there are emails, there are files on the computer. Uh, just, they just, the Google approach, I think, doesn't do a good job of separating those out when there really is that structure in the information.